Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. There was an interesting page posted on SpaceX's website related to two World Cup footballs that went to space. The webpage says, in an effort to enable a particularly epic journey for this year's games, the Starlink and SpaceX teams partnered with Qatar Airways to send two World Cup balls to space and back. Just a reminder there should hopefully be another Falcon 9 launch tomorrow. The launch of the SWOT mission is currently scheduled for tomorrow, Thursday 15th at 11.46am UTC or 6.46am EST. In addition to that, there are currently two launches scheduled for the following day. The O3B Empower 1 and 2 mission is currently scheduled to lift off on Friday 16th at 9.21pm UTC or 4.21pm EST. Also, there's the Starlink 437 mission that's also scheduled for Friday 16th at 9.54pm UTC or 4.54pm EST. As you may have noticed, this could mean that we will see two Falcon 9 rockets lift off in just a span of 33 minutes. There was an article related to SpaceX increasing their value by selling shares. It says Elon Musk's SpaceX is reportedly offering to sell insider shares at a price that would raise the closely held company's valuation to about $140 billion. SpaceX is offering the shares for $77 a piece, sources said. Heading to Boca Chica, work continues on the orbital launch mount. Related to a briefing about Artemis, Eric Berger posted a tweet. It says, after the briefing, Administrator Bill Nelson told me that he spoke with SpaceX's Gwyn Shotwell last weekend. He asked if Twitter or Musk was going to be a distraction to SpaceX and its commitments to NASA. She said to me in no uncertain terms, I assure you it is not. Christian Davenport posted a couple of tweets related to Starship. The first says, at the Secure World Foundation's event earlier today, NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy said SpaceX was making good progress on Starship. They are beyond the we are probably going to blow up the pad phase. Then he posted she added that from her time at the FAA, she is well aware of how hard it is to develop a new location to launch rockets from. Safety is everything and I think they are just experiencing some of those things. The scaffolding around Starship 24 was continuing to be removed recently. The crane has also been detached from Ship 24 with repairs now pretty much complete. SpaceX still has all of the possible closures that we saw in the last video. Their possible closures are for tomorrow, Thursday 15th, Friday 16th and next week with Monday 19th. As always, I have to say thank you to Nick Antsuini for being out there filming the Starbase content. Also, thanks to the NASA Spaceflight team working behind the scenes on their videos, live streams and other space content. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.